Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your July 2021 reading. My name is Mo Moon. Welcome to my channel, Mo Moon Tarot. My name is Moharet Jezebel Morgan Moon. And I am reading for you for July 2021. We're using the Golden Tarot of Maasai for your reading, Pisces. I just want to tell you before we start the reading that I started a Patreon channel, um, www.patreon.com slash momoon. And on that um, Patreon account, I offer three tiers. The first is a $5 a month tier, Canadian, and it offers a monthly meditation based on a tarot card. The second tier is a monthly meditation based on a tarot card and a weekly reading. Um, with the tarot and the third tier is a monthly meditation with with a tarot card weekly readings with the tarot and another um, short zodiac sign reading for each month to go along with these videos that I put up for you here on YouTube so if you want to support me monetarily you can always go to my Mo, Mo Moon account on Patreon if you do like this video at the end of the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, you can comment on my video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so you never miss an upload. And if you've already subscribed to my channel, thank you for your support. I really appreciate you. Let's get into shuffling the cards for you, Pisces, for July 2021. Pisces, July 2021. All right. This is who I am now. This is what I don't know about myself. This is what I need to relinquish. This is what I need to develop. What I'd love to become. My current quest, where it will lead. Pisces, this is who I am now. The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is known for her nurturing spirit, for her gentle caressing, for her gentle ways. But she's also a queen. And she, as a queen, is a leader in her own right. Not only does she take care of herself, but she takes care of, of those around her. She is aware of her surroundings, her surroundings. She takes care of plants and animals and the earth and also other individuals. She is very nurturing, calm, cool, collected, and loving. So I do feel for this, this is who I am now for you, Pisces. You are embodying this Queen of Pentacles energy. For this is what I don't know about myself. You have the Four of Wands. Maybe you don't know how much love you have to offer the world, Pisces. The Four of Wands is a card about inviting people into your life to enjoy the beauty, the celebration that you take part in in life. What you don't know about yourself is you offer a stable foundation to the people around you. Your mind is a stable place for people to come and find peace. You may not feel like you have a stable mind, but with the four of wands for what you don't know about yourself, it's that you are quite balanced and you do offer a sense of balance to the people around you. The next card we have for you is card number three. This is what I need to relinquish, Pisces. We have the three of wands for what you need to relinquish. It's interesting that you had the four of wands for what you don't know about yourself, 
and the Three of Wands for what you need to relinquish. But seeing as how the Four of Wands is what you don't know about yourself and the Three of Wands is what you need to let go of or relinquish, I do feel like going backwards in life is something that you need to relinquish. Rehashing the past, rehashing old situations that no longer seem to have a purpose for thinking about in your life. Don't allow your past to control you is what this card is saying. Don't allow past situations to determine how you will operate in the present and in the future. The next card we have for you, Pisces, is card number four. This is what I need to develop. You have the Ace of Swords. So you do have a stable mind with the Four of Wands here for what you don't know about yourself. And you offer love to the world around you and a place for them to feel at home and at peace. And for what you need to develop, we have the Ace of Swords, Pisces. So the swords is the suit of the mind, of air, that represents the mind and thoughts and words that are formed from our thoughts. And in this card, the sword is piercing the crown, almost like the ideas are piercing the crown chakra, really opening up that the mind, opening up ideas. So maybe you need to develop more of an open mind towards different ideas that you're having, um, being open to discovering those ideas, discovering those insightful or intuitive hits that you are receiving from the divine, because of course, this sword is being handed to you by the divine, by source himself or herself. So what you need to develop is more of an open mind and more of a crown chakra connection to the divine, maybe um, speaking your mind a little bit more, maybe even journaling. Um, what you need to develop, though, is just being open to your thoughts being less judgmental when it comes to your thoughts or less critical when it comes to yourself, Pisces. The next card we have is what I'd love to become. We have card number 17, the star. The star is all about hope. You know, when you see a star in a night sky, there's an awe that is built up inside of you. And also the sun is a star. Now this is not the sun card, it's the star card. But there is a connection to the sun in the sense that the sun is considered the brightest star in the galaxy that we're in. So you're, you'd are you love to become somebody who is available to offer hope to people. Um, with your unique perspective and your nurturing heart with the queen of pentacles here the, for who you are now in July. You'd love to become somebody who is a place of hope for others. Um, somebody who listens, who gives good advice, who is like that beacon of hope in a dark night. Maybe some people that you know are going through a rough time and you just want to be there to listen, to offer that hope, to offer that, like I said, that, that light in the middle of the darkness. For your current quest, Pisces, for July, you have Justice. Card number eight here of the Major Arcana. Your current quest is really to bring justice to the world. And maybe you're already working on that. And that's great because you have the heart of the Queen of Pentacles, which says that you're doing that as gently as you can and as nur nurturing as you can, as kindly as you can. But justice is not always warm and fuzzy. It sometimes has to be cold and decisive. So your current quest is to learn how to balance that Queen of Pentacles energy for who you are now with this Justice card for what your quest is. It's okay to speak your mind, Pisces, or even to yell your mind if you need to. It's okay to bring a sense of justice to the world. And I think that's your quest right now, your purpose, your cause. You're determined to bring justice to the world, however that might be. So that is your quest, bringing justice. And where it will lead, Pisces, we have card number 13 of the Major Ar Arcana, which is the Death card. So transformation 
really your, your quest of bringing justice is bringing a sense of transformation to the people around you. And transformation is not always sweet and beautiful and clean and clean and clean cut and, 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 you know, rosy. It's not always like that. Sometimes justice leads to, you know, something messy that brings a change. There's definitely a change with this card, the death card. There's a, a change taking place. Something dies in order for something to be reborn. And for the justice card leading to this death card, justice is not always easy. Sometimes we see justice um, brought to fruition through difficult situations. And death is one of those difficult situations. Now, it doesn't have to mean a physical death, of course. This leads to more so of a transitional death, a transition between something that is no longer vibrant into something that is vibrant anew. So it's interesting how you have justice leading to this death, maybe a death of an unjust situation as well, maybe an, a death of something that is no longer serving society. So I hope this was a helpful reading for you, Pisces, for July 2021. If it was, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Like I said, if you haven't already, check out my Patreon if you're interested in more videos by me. And until next time, I'll leave you with a few tunes from the singing bowl. Blessed be Pisces.